Let's take a look how I made the spinning text with motion blur here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. Let's paint the background black and I'm gonna select the circle from here. Press and hold shift, create a circle. You also can add stroke and fill in order to be visible. You can go here and just add a color, whatever you like, or stroke and increase it to be more visible what you're doing. I'm gonna press Ctrl T and arrange it into the center. And now I'm gonna select the type tool and I'm gonna go here at the stroke line. So not inside where you can see the circle, but exactly on the stroke line where you can see this uh, line. I'm gonna click on it and it is going to add the text. I'm gonna type in Panther Vision and I'm gonna select the text, increase the size of the text. And I'm also gonna leave a distance in between the letters. For example, in my case, I'm gonna leave it on 100 and I'm gonna show you why. So let's go and select this pet tool, click on it. And what I'm gonna do is just drag this text inside the circle. So as you're dragging, I'm dragging it here. You can see that little circle, it goes to the left and to the top. At this little circle, the text is ending. So I'm going to stretch it all the way out into the opposite direction somewhere here. You also can go just like this, release it, select the type tool, and I'm gonna copy paste the text a couple of more times, Control C, add space, Control V. Actually two times is good, I'm gonna press Control A to select everything, let's go to the type size, and I'm gonna increase it more, until they are going to be close to each other. Now I can go and delete the ellipse layer, press on delete, and select the text layer, press Control T, and I'm gonna press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up a little bit more, right click on the text layer, convert to smart object, I'm gonna rename it as text, press Ctrl T again, press and hold Ctrl, and I'm gonna go to this point and just drag it down and we're gonna distort it, and I'm gonna put it up, press and hold Ctrl again, and I'm gonna bring the top right corner and do the same with the left and just arrange it, put it in perspective. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up, and press and hold Ctrl to rearrange. Great. Now I'm gonna put it on the top somewhere here. Press Ctrl J on the text. Now let's go with the top layer. Now we're gonna go to the filter, blur. Let's select motion blur. Make sure that the angle is on 90 degree angles. And I'm gonna decrease the distance somewhere on 300. Click OK. And I'm gonna select it, drag it. Also press and hold Shift until it's gonna click. I'm also gonna decrease the blur a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to the motion blur here, double click and decrease a little bit more. There you go, click OK. I'm also gonna drag the text copy under the text layer and I'm gonna press Ctrl J again, double click on the motion blur. I'm gonna increase it more. For example, on 400-ish, click OK. And I'm gonna drag this blur, press and hold Shift until it's gonna go something like this and make sure to bring this blur under the first blur layer. So it's gonna be right here, like under there. And I'm gonna position it something like this. I'm gonna go back to the motion blur to the bottom layer. I'm gonna increase it a little bit more and arrange it better. You also can go and decrease the opacity on this text blur. I think I gotta go with like 70 and press and hold Alt to drag it down to create a new copy. Also press Shift and I'm gonna bring the text copy number three under the text copy number two and make sure to arrange it. And I'm also gonna decrease the opacity even more. There it is. I'm gonna go with like 30, why not? Now how I see I got a distance in between the text and the blur, so I'm gonna go press and hold shift, select all the blur layers, and I'm just gonna go with the upper arrow and position it. There we go. Now I'm gonna press and hold shift, select the background and select all the blur layers and make sure to deselect the top text, so don't select that one. Let's go and right click on these, convert to smart object. Make sure that you're on the bottom layer. Let's go to the filter, filter gallery. And now let's select the graphic pen from the sketch. And I'm gonna go with the stroke length and light dark balance somewhere up here, 11 and 73. I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate. And let's select the bottom layer. And I'm gonna uncheck the filter gallery here. So uncheck the little eye. And let's select the top layer with the filter. And I'm gonna go to the opacity and decrease the opacity until it is going to be a little bit more transparent. I'm gonna go right now with 18. And from here, let's go and select a solid color. I'm gonna go with white, click OK. Make sure that you're on black and white here. The black is on the top, white is on the bottom, okay? Now let's go and right click on the solid layer. Convert to smart object. Now let's go to the filter, filter gallery. 
and now I'm gonna select the half tone pattern. Here you're gonna to need to make sure that you're on line at the pattern type. And what I did is basically decrease the size and the contrast on low. So it's like two and five, click OK. Right click on the solid smart object again, convert to smart object again, press Control T, press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degree angles, press Shift plus Alt and stretch it out, double click release. And now I'm gonna to go to the blend mode, change it to overlay. And I also gonna to go to the opacity and decrease the opacity quite a bit. Right now I'm gonna go with 30-ish. Uh, and let's select the top text layer, go to the filter, blur, select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna add a little bit of blur. I'm gonna go with uh, 3.5, click OK. And let's go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map. Let's go and click on the gradient. And here I'm gonna add another handle. This is gonna be purple, click OK. Here I'm gonna add another orange, click OK. And I'm gonna go with the white here, double click. This is gonna be some toxic green, click OK. And the last one here, I'm gonna add a black. And here you can arrange it however you like. I'm gonna pull it something like this. I think this is pretty good, click OK. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.